It's funny because you say that you know me and you know that I made it and I don't feel like I've made it. <laughs> and I'm like a coach. Um, I think that we are constantly comparing ourselves to everyone around us. I know, especially women and in social media, you know what I mean? And it took me a while to realize that I had lost the weight. I had struggled. I still struggle sometimes with body dysmorphia really bad. When you've lost that much weight, you have a really hard time recognizing yourself in the mirror. My face looks different. Like my hands look different. I lost a shoe size. Like I do not look like the person I was. And so it took me a really long time to realize how much work I had put in. Um, but also I did not lose the weight in a healthy way. And I want to stress that like a lot. I did not lose the weight eating enough protein. So I actually have a lot of loose skin. And so I have been doing a lot of backtracking over the past year and a half where I'm trying to consume more protein and it's helped tightening my skin, which is helping me feel more comfortable in my body. Um, and that's so important. But when it comes to when did I realize that I had done the work was when people started reaching out and having me asking me if I could teach them. And I was like, me help you learn about health? What? Like, I am not the picture of health. Um, and then I realized that I actually am super passionate about this. Like, I love reading nutrition labels. It's weird. I go to the grocery store and I pick up stuff and I want to know why it is the way it is. I love cooking from scratch. I love educating people on nutrition. I love moving my body. It doesn't feel like work to me. And in the beginning, it did. It felt like so much work, but I fell in love with the process and the lifestyle and the community that's involved in that as well.